y'all it's kayla and i'm back with another youtube video today so basically if you're new to my channel subscribe we got a lot of stuff coming for you to see if you're not new to my channel then comment below say hey or something and today basically what i'm doing is a day in my life i guess so i think i'm doing a day in my life but i might drag it on some more and do like some why is that glare on me i might drag it on some more and do some other stuff but right now i'm gonna tell y'all what we have on the to-do list today so basically today i have a laser hair removal appointment i have pilates and i have a client and then i just gotta come home and edit and stuff and get my businesses in order and yeah that's what i have to do today so right now i'm gonna get ready to go to um my appointments and stuff i need to put my hair in a bun because all of this hair right now is just not gonna do so i'm gonna put this hair up <sighs> oh and if you haven't if you haven't already go watch my last vlog i love my last vlog i think it's so interesting and funny so y'all go watch that i don't remember if i put my sunscreen on so i'm gonna put a little bit because you could never go wrong and i don't know why i'm breaking out right here well actually i do know why whenever i drink <clears throat> whenever i drink liquor like a few days in a row or something my face always breaks down breaks out down here i don't know what that's about so I'm gonna go get a pimple patch. Cause there's just no way I would just walk around like that. And it's so huge. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, today y'all, uh, I made vision boards the other day. So I'm feeling very like, what's the word? I'm feeling very inclined to do what I need to do. So I'm just very motivated. So I wanted to, on my vision board, I put Pilates on there because I did do Pilates like multiple times, but I feel like I'm not consistent with it. I really need to go to Pilates once a week, but Pilates makes me feel like I get skinnier. And like, honestly, skinnier is not like, skinnier is not the goal here. I don't know what the goal is. I mean, I already got a little slim. Pilates don't go give me some abs and stuff though. So yeah, I'm just gonna take care of myself better. Overall, it's not, like, it's not a reason that I'm just skinny and out of shape. Like that's not gonna do. So I need to at least be strong or something. But after I do my hair, I'm gonna make some breakfast because breakfast is the most important. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Da 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 da. Gary's way. Oh. So based on the comments and stuff on my last video, I will definitely further discuss the whole. Let me see this bun. I'll further discuss the whole apartment situation. So if y'all don't know, when I was 18, I moved to Georgia. I was 18, turning 19, but I didn't get an apartment until I was 21. No, no, no. I didn't get an apartment until I was 20. So I basically moved to moved my whole life to Georgia without knowing what I was going to do, for real. I had no idea what to do. But I definitely know a lot of things about being on your own. I know a lot of things about a lot of things. But I honestly don't talk about that a lot because I don't know. I don't know nobody who did the type of things I did. So I don't know if that, like, is not interesting, but if that will resonate with anybody. All right, I had to move, my, move to my other bathroom because... My camera's gonna die, and I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on there right there. So basically, I actually don't know why I don't ever talk about that. But honestly, I do feel like it's beneficial to other girls to like hear what other people have been through and kind of learn from their mistakes because I feel like a lot of us just think that we know best. You would have to go through a lot less, <clears throat> a lot less struggles, a lot less problems if you just took other people's advice and just learn from other people's mistakes instead of just constantly trying to figure things out on your own and make your own mistakes. So I feel like that's a lot of the problems that I had in my life. I thought I knew everything. So if there's one, at least one person who just listens to a few things and their life just be a little easier, then I feel like I'm pleased with that. When I moved to Atlanta when I was 18, I, um, 
I moved in with my family and I didn't know them very well, honestly. Obviously, they're my family and I knew them, but we weren't close. And I only am close with like very few people in my family, so I didn't know much about like what they had going on. But she, my aunt had offered me to live with her. And I knew for sure that I didn't want to live in Florida anymore. And I didn't want to live in Florida anymore because I was feeling extremely like stagnant. I was feeling extremely lonely, not lonely. I was feeling extremely lonely. And I was feeling like I had like so much more potential that I wasn't tapping into <clears throat> at the moment. And it's just because when you be in the same place for so long, well, for me, and I felt like I wasn't. I feel like I wasn't putting my best foot forward and I felt like I needed a fresh start in a new place and I needed to just see how far I could take it. But when I sat there and realized that I was depressed and I realized that I didn't like my situation, I realized that I'm the only person that could change that. So I did what I could do and I decided to move and I knew that if I moved and I didn't like it and it wasn't working out for me, I could always go back home. So I wasn't really triggered about it. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go see what it's about. But I was very young and I just finished high school. And so, honestly, it wasn't easy at all. When I first moved to Georgia and I moved in with my family, I hated everything. Like, I was like, I hate it here. I want to go home. But I'm so glad that I stuck with it and I did what needed to be done because now I'm 21. I love living here. I have so many, like, wonderful friends. I have such a great support system. My mom moved here now as well. So it's just like everything kind of just worked out for me. But it's like I was feeling extremely down it's extremely depressed and that right there when i felt like that i was like nah that's not like me so i need to bust a move like that's how i felt when i get upset i feel like i need to go do something to make it better because i'm not going to sit in my sorrows but yeah overall i just wasn't feeling like i was going to be my best self in the area that i was in feeling very stagnant i was feeling like i was just trapped in like a little cycle that i didn't like my mama always tells me like you're not a tree you can move you can leave like you can do whatever to make yourself happy so that's what I did. I was supposed to go to college in Georgia, but I ended up not going to college. I ended up going to nail school instead. So I moved in with my family, 18, went to nail school, hated everything. But I wasn't um, doing nails full time in Georgia yet because I just moved there. And when you just move somewhere, obviously, you're not going to have all the clients in the world. So I didn't have that many clients, but I had some friends and stuff and I would travel to their house and do their nails. Like when I say I would make a way out of no way, baby, I was making a way out of no way for real. I would have, I bought me a little thing on Amazon, a little thing to um, travel, put all my stuff in. And girl, I traveled around everywhere. And I did whoever nails would let me do their nails. And I charged them like maybe a hundred dollars, but now to travel, like that's, no, honestly, when I was traveling to them, I would charge people like $80, 85. But, like, there's no way that I'm going to use my gas and drive to nobody to do their nails for two hours and pay get paid $80. I don't know what that was about. But I was doing it because that's what I like to do. So, I knew what I wanted to do. And I know that at first you have to make sacrifices to get there. So, yeah. That's what happened. Also, though, while I was um, traveling to do people's nails, keep in mind, I was only doing that probably once a week. So, I was definitely not where I wanted to be. But it was crazy because when I was in Florida, I was fully booked, like, fully fully booked so I went from being fully booked to like nobody and also doing nails is my main source of income so there was just no way that I was going to be able to do that hold on it just wasn't ideal so basically I ended up getting a job because one thing about me I can never go without having no money so I had to get a job so I was um I had multiple jobs before I used to work at Walmart before and I worked at Walmart for a little bit in Georgia, and then I quit. And then I ended up working at Hooters. And I worked at Hooters for, oh my God, this bun is so ugly. So yeah, since I was in nail school and the nails wasn't kind of doing what I wanted it to do yet, obviously I had to have an income because what the hell. So got a job at Hooters, hated it because obviously serving people food and wearing that tight shirt is not what I wanted to do. Never wanted to do that, but it was getting the bills paid at the moment. So I had to do it. And also, thank God, when I moved in with my family, they wasn't charging me no rent. So I was really doing whatever I wanted to do. It's just a little bit uncomfortable situation because I'm living in a new environment with people that I don't usually be with. So it was just a learning experience overall. So when I started working at Hooters, that's when I started branching out. That's when I went to get my hair done, my nails done, all that. So that's what took me to like the next 
step I need to go to. So I feel like everything I did kind of just set me up to go where I need to go. But you have to realize that you're going to start off terrible. You're going to start off depressed, sad, lonely, all type of stuff. And you're going to take small steps to finally get to the bigger picture. But it's like if you give up in that small area, you're never going to make it to the bigger picture. That's the whole point. So if I would have realized that I hated working at Walmart, I hated working at Hooters and I just give up, I just will never do nails how I want to do them. I would just never be an entrepreneur. I would have been still in that position today. But I always keep my eye on like what I want to do. I'm only doing this because I know what I want to do. I was never working no job to say, oh, I want to be the best Hooters girl in the world and I want to work at Hooters for the rest of my life. I'm going to be the most best Walmart shelf stacker. No, I don't want to do that. I know what I want to do. I know that this is just a stepping stool for me to get where I need to go. So if you keep your eye in that area, you'll never fall into like what you're not happy with. So yeah, after all of that, I was working for myself again. And then finally, I got my own apartment when I was 20 years old. But it took a lot of steps. And even now, I'm still, it's, you're never going to be fully prepared for nothing like that. Like, you're never going to be fully prepared to just be all on your own. But I feel like I've just spent so much time alone and so much time watching myself, like, grow and trial and error that I always feel like I would never let myself down. And no matter what happens, you have to be your own, like, biggest fan. You have to be your own support system. So, of course, you want people around you to support you. But I didn't have that for a long period of time. I didn't even have that many friends. In high school, I had three friends. I graduated high school, stopped being friends with one of my friends, and I had one friend. So it's like, of course, everything is just not ideal at the moment, but you have to trust yourself and love yourself enough to keep going. If I didn't have love for myself, I would have gave the fuck up. Because it was so hard sometimes. Like, I wanted to go home so bad. I wanted to go home my mama bed and cry. But, like, that would never get me where I need to be. Anyway, y'all, I could share a lot more stuff with y'all about all the things I've been through in my life, but it just be a lot. I don't think I can touch a strudel. But yeah, y'all, I really say all that to say, just believe in yourself first and go out of your comfort zone. Because doing the same stuff you're comfortable with is never going to get you somewhere you've never been before. That's just how it is. But anyway, don't talk about that. We'll talk about that another time. Uh, so this is my breakfast. I got the apples. Those are strudel, my water. I'm gonna sit here and stare at my vision board for a little bit, and yeah. And then I'm gonna go to my alleged hair appointment. Oh y'all, I also wanted to add, I feel like my windows on the inside look like they're not tinted at all, but y'all, they're really, really dark. Like the windshield's tinted in the front, everything is tinted, they probably can't even see me in here. She can't even see me. Anyway, but yeah, I don't know why I'm recording. And it looks like the window is clear. I don't know what that's about, but. Why you be doing it? Why you be doing that? Everything that's so immature. That's so immature. So broke. To make this fast. I think I want to add another area to my laser. I don't know. Should I add another area? Right now, oh, right now I only do. Right now I only do armpits, but I don't know. Hmm. All right, y'all. This is what the room looks like. This is where you go. They use this little thingy right here to zap your armpit off. But anyway. They have this over here. This is aloe because it do be like a little sus it do be a little sensitive. Wipes to wipe your deodorant off. So now I gotta wipe my deodorant off. And that sounds great. I don't really know what you're gonna do with that child. <sighs> Stretch that was gonna hurt. It do hurt. Yeah, I'm trying to get to Pilates now, but I'm gonna be late. Well, I'm already late. Pilates starts like right on time, and I'm it's 12:19. I'm supposed to start at 12, 15. I'm not gonna, it's gonna take like a minute to walk over there. So I'm gonna be five minutes late. But it's okay, I'm not gonna let that ruin my day. I'm gonna stick with it. Where, where am I at? God help me. God help help my spirit. Hello. 
Six and a half hours later. Hey. Hi. I don't know what's going on today, y'all. They made me come out my house. I was gonna be in a bed. Okay. Like Having a pizza party. <laughs> This bitch ain't drinking. I'm freestyling on the beat. Bro. I'm freestyling. Y'all, okay, come on. I'm freestyling. She don't even want to start. You got to find something you want to start with. Let me see y'all. <laughs> Any nigga that want to get tricked on, that's just. Fuck out of here. <laughs> DM her. DM her. Niggas, we don't need to be talking about We're that. not tricking on them. No, y'all yeah, know what I'm saying. Wait, you said you. No, I'm not tricking on a nigga. I meant to say we need to be talking about these niggas tricking. That's what I meant to say. I'm not Put it in the pot. Wow. Trick or treat. I like me a rich nigga. Oh. The real type that's gonna trick nigga. Ooh. Lost me up, bae. I need more than just six figures. Two bands in my hands just cause I'm saying looking pretty. Fucking club up. Now y'all nigga wanna get up with me. Bow. If you get a pay, spend it, nigga, don't be stingy. That's Kayla okay with the background dance pieces. Yeah. Don't play with my artist. Don't ever play with my artist. One more time, so you. Who the fuck? Y'all done. Shoot. That's gonna go viral. Shoot, shoot it for two. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to see. Please, yeah. Please. Please. Yeah. let me hear yeah. that. Let yeah. me hear that. Wait. I like me. Damn, go back. I want to hear shoot, shoot for two. I'm sorry. Don't cut that out though, Kayla. Leave that. <laughs> I like me a rich nigga. The real type that's gonna trick me. Rich nigga. The real type that's gonna trick nigga. Fuck me up, baby. I need more than just a nigga. Not this time, baby. Not this time. Yeah. But I'm playing, but I know y'all nigga wanna go with me. If you get a case with it, nigga, don't be stingy. Uh. Funny. What's I doing the ad? Do my ad you know no, you have to do your own. What I say? Whatever. Just come out like a maze. Yo, look at my friend Bun. Mm -hmm. Don't play with the Bun. Natural. Okay, give me two seconds. No, no, come on, lock in, Fontaine. Okay. If y'all don't drop this song, listen. It's over. We can't. 
Kayla go. Kayla go jump that home her G fake go. Bitch, we jump this shit on God. I think the song is done, y'all. We yeah, just finished our our EP is finished. Kayla go. Kayla go jump that home her G fake go. God, this shit on God. Love. We love all our fans. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Oh, you look so pretty. Happy birthday, you look pretty. Oh, this is nice. Back up, let me see. Get back, let me see what this is. <laughs> Oh, this look a good one. I already know what it is, actually. I think I did. Oh, shit. Actually, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, you did that, Joe. I ain't gonna lie. Do you like it? No, I already have this, but I'm running out. Oh, so, really? thanks. All right, see you. Bye-bye. No, come to sound. I'm not playing with you. Yeah, she think I'm playing. Why did it make me come here? I want to go! What are you doing? Why are you running? Oh, uh, you sleeping? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh. I'm not gonna see. We made a song last night. We went to a club for some reason. I don't know why we went to no club. I had on the most ridiculous outfit to go to the club, but whatever. Um, today I think I have four clients, so we had to get that done. Right now, I'm eating a guava and cheese pastry, and then I'm gonna go to work. And today's also Sunday. So I shouldn't even be working today for real. But they be asking. Good morning, vlog. I don't know why I just woke up so ready to rumble. But I be looking real cute when I wake up. But today, oh my god, it's so dark outside. I think it's raining and everything. But right now, 9.55 a.m. And I'm finna get up. I'm about to go do my nails and go get a facial. My skin has been looking like super good, but you have to keep up with it. So I need to go get a facial and I need to go get some more products from her because the lady who does my facials, I be buying her uh, skincare products and they really, really work, y'all. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not even trying to play with y'all. I'm gonna close my blinds for somebody staring at me. Anyway, I already took a shower. So now, ooh. Now we try to pick an outfit. <clears throat> bow, bow. You like my voices? I'm going to put my little lip stuff on. Good, yeah. I woke up in a great mood. I love when I wake up in a great mood. It's just like something about the day I feel like I can just do anything. So, I'm all ready to go. And since it won't be cold outside, I just gotta go back and put extra lotion on my hands because I don't like how that be. Like, I don't like my hands being dry. And I'm gonna show y'all my new cuticle oil I made. Super cute, super moisturizing. I actually need to bring one home because it's just that good. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But um, yeah, so now I'm about to get in the car. What kind of perfume girly am I today? Do I go Libre how I go? Do I come how I come? Or should I go more girly? Should I go Chanel Chance? Mm -hmm. But then again, I could just... I don't know, I'm stressed. Okay, I'm just gonna wear a Libre because... I'm gonna put my Vaseline stick on. Mm. Fabulous. Should I do a mix? Should I mix it? Should I mix it, mate? Mm. 
Carolina Herrera blush. I had bought one of these for my sister for Christmas and she started acting up. So I'm trying to figure out like, do I give it to her or not? Who knows? But yeah, I'm done getting ready now. So now I gotta pick a bag. And I could go like, I could go old school and go with the MCM bag, but this is all. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna wear this bag because it's raining and you know, you gotta move fast. But this is the bag I was using this week. Um, coming up out of that, take these items out of here. Today, I'm only going to bring a few things. A few things, love. I don't know. I'm going to bring my pepper spray just in case somebody want to pick up. This little bag be fitting what you need in it. And I'm going to get some lip gloss. So, I'm bringing this lip gloss that Messiah bought me. And also, I have packages in the package room, so I have to go get that. I forgot all about that. So we're about to go down there. Since I'm not, <clears throat> since I'm not eating fried food at the moment, I really want to say I'm not eating fried food this year. Cause I feel like we just don't go. But honestly, what you eat goes so much into your skin. So I'm really not eating nothing fried because all that greasy, oily stuff, it be tasting good. It's not good for you. I thought that's the least I could do. Anyway, here's my apples and my peanut butter. I want to go to the gym today, but I really hate going to the gym by myself. Something about being in the gym by myself made me want to go home. But I'm actually going to get my facial, come home, do some laundry, take a nap, and then at nighttime I might go to the gym. Cause I have already edited two videos and I'm already working on another video. So I feel like I'm really ahead of the game. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. All right, so let's go get my package. I'm watching Love Island. They acting the fuck up. Whitney keep acting up. Anyway, I'm doing my nails. Yeah, I can only do one hand today, so. Walking in the rain. I don't know. I don't like this, but y'all. Oh my God! It's a car coming. Oh, y'all in the movies where the car coming and they splash water on you when it's raining? That's what I be thinking finna happen to me. And that's why I don't like walking around. <laughs> Cause what if it's a puddle and they splash me? Should have pissed me right off. And I'm gonna walk across the street, even though it says don't walk across the street. But yeah, I made my facial appointment. <sighs> Oh, fabulous, fabulous vibes. All right, y'all, my facial is done. Fabulous, fabulous. I've got my products in here. I'm waiting on my car to heat up, and I'm about to order some Panera bread because I was in there thinking about like. My lashes look crazy. I had to brush them. But I was in there thinking like, what am I gonna eat for real? Because, I don't know, but I'm gonna order some Panera Bread. But y'all, yeah, I had got this serum I be using. Real good. And she gave me some, something else in here. What is this? Cleanser. So now I'm just gonna eat and go home. And really, I don't got much else to do for today, but I'm gonna do like some cleaning up and some organizing in the house. All right, y'all, making a salad now. This is my avocado. My salmon is looking pretty tasty, can't lie. I made broccoli, but I decided to go with a salad instead. So now, I don't know. I'll probably eat the, I'll probably eat the broccoli tomorrow. But I'm gonna put cheese, salmon on here, croutons, and I think that's it in the avocado. 
Y'all cannot tell me that salmon is not busting. Like, y'all just can't. I'm gonna put this little tiny one on my salad, and I'm gonna eat this other one for tomorrow. I don't know why I cut that piece so small, but whatever. All right, this is my little salmon. Kind of like a Caesar salad, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I'm gonna have to like get, I might make rice for this. I don't know. We gotta see because this is not like a real meal. This is like side. We need another side. But it looked good, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. Okay, y'all, I done got done eating. It was busting, of course, because I obviously know how to cook. I obviously know what I'm doing. But anyway, now I'm about to brush my hair, oil my scalp, and go to bed. I've had enough. It's like this curly hair, long hair stuff. It's like you have to constantly be into it with it. Like you can't give up on it, no days. If I go to sleep with it all I'm tangled up, I'm gonna wake up looking confused and stressed. So you gotta brush it. It's already dry a little bit. All right, I just put some co-wash in it. And now I'm about to put these little A little egg somewhere close up. Now it's going into a little bun in the back. And I'd be putting it in a bun because I just want to get the ends of my hair like put up. And it don't be too, I don't be trying to do it too tight, but just to where everything stays in. Bow! And now I'm going to bed. I'm back. Hey vlog. I'm back. Oh, my bun is leaning. I'm at the gym with my mom. It's too early in the morning to be doing all this, but I'm dedicated to getting right for my trip. So I'm really just getting right for my life. I don't know why the bun is doing it. But yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit of working out in here today and then I have to go to work, so. Yeah, this looks like something I can't really get into. Like this, you come up. Oh God. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Well, trying to get me to drink this uh, energy. What is this? Uh, what is this thing in? C4 pre-workout. Pre-workout. I don't know about all that. She keeps trying to fight the punch. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what's all that about? I'm out of breath. You're lucky I'm out of breath. Okay. Ah. Trying to kill me. I have a lint on my pants. Ignore that. Stressed out. Tired. I'm around. I'm here for five minutes. I'm actually not as out of breath as I thought I would be. Yeah, level three. What's going on over there? Hmm. Okay, I gotta get off of this. 5.30. She's a five star athlete. Not to be played with. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> Hello vlog, I'm back. Back like I never left. Better than I ever been. Um, I'm in the car. And I'm on my way to work. I have three clients today, and then I'm pretty much free for the weekend. So, today I'm gonna just bring y'all along to work with me and let y'all see the little life, you know, the nail life, the nail lifestyle. Um, I'm wearing these glasses because, <clears throat> okay, basically, I've been needed like glasses. But like glasses for seeing like you know what is that called I've been needed prescribed glasses like prescription glasses but I don't wear them because that's not my like aesthetic so recently I feel like I haven't been able to see good and I feel like lights have been making my hair hurt my eyes are like really sensitive to lights right now so I'm gonna keep these glasses on for a little bit it's just better for me because I don't have a headache right now 
and I just rather not have a headache. So we sucking these off, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all, guess who's here? Here. Introduce yourself. Hi, you guys. My name is Joy. I don't look good right now. Please don't post this shit. I look a mess. Bro, Joy ain't acting up. Today. I just got me some food real quick, and I just have to just take a little bite because I'm really hungry. Wait. Hello? Mm. Mm. I love it. So you look cute. If you're not going to Kayla Fresh through your nails, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> okay, promo. <laughs> All right, y'all see that. We ate them up real quick for my room. Mm -hmm. All done. Now I'm about to go home. So I'm probably just done vlogging now for today. Hey, y'all. I am back. It's not a it's not a nice day outside but i got my lululemon on baby do not play with me today i'm not playing did my hair and i'm about to go eat with my mom so i'm off today me and my mom are about to have a little lunch we're gonna go to this fun place that i like and i'm trying not to be late so we need to hit the road right now hey i made it <laughs> okay this is my fun i got pizza. my mom Got beef fun as well. Um, this is our little stuff. Ooh. Can I get that sriracha over there? So you need the, this and this for the lunch. Gotta have it. Okay, I'll be putting a only a little bit of beans, bro. I need more jalapeno. Why they gave me two, I don't know. Because you gotta put the lime. Without the lime, you are not. Let me see those down. Oh, I'm done eating with my mom. We had a great little chit chat and stuff. So I have a few other errands to run. Right now I'm on my way to the bank. And then after I go to the bank, I gotta go to the post office and ship off a package because somebody ordered some cuticle oils. So I have to go ship that out. And I just ate, but I want something sweet so bad that I just don't know what to do. I almost want to get some ice cream from McDonald's, but I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Where should I get ice cream from? Hmm. Or like a really good milkshake would do. Like something, I need something sweet, okay? But I don't want no candy. So we have to figure that out. Because by, ooh. Because once I go home today, I'm not leaving out again. Like, today is the day where I go home, clean up my house, and stay in the house. So, if I don't figure all this stuff out before I get there, then it won't get done. Y'all, so, I already went to the bank everything. But while I'm trying to find a post office, and I'm stupid. It's Martin Luther King Day, and everything's closed. I pull up to this post office. This is the second post office. I call them. At least the insurance side come here. It's closed, and I'm really... 
concern. Like, why did I just drive up here on MLK Day thinking I was going to send this package off? Me and this other man, we were standing outside the door. I was close. I'm trying to figure out what kind of, uh, I'm trying to figure out where to get some ice cream from. Let me see. Because now I can't even ship our package until tomorrow. That is terrible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so hard out here. There's a Hagen Doss over here across the street. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go here and get a milkshake. <gasps> this looks so good. Mm. This looks really good for the show, y'all. Look, it's people walking to the post office, but it's crazy. Like, I guess they don't know it's a holiday. I didn't know either. Y'all, look at this. Don't that look good? That looks good. Dolce de leche. Dazzler Sunday with cookies and cream Sunday. I'm gonna pull up on them. Oh my gosh. Why does my navigation keep telling me onto the road? In 250 feet, turn right onto the road. What road? Why are you saying it like that? Me, but the Hagen Doss is right there. And I'm gonna go read the menu real good because I'm gonna get something. I'm gonna get something real tasty. We made it. We did it. We did it. Whoa. I was about to say, if they closed, okay, girl, if they closed, I'm going to be extremely mad. I did not put my Lululemon on today for no reason. Hmm. Let's go get some ice cream. Y'all, why is it closed up? Like, be for real. Y'all, I don't know if they on break or what, like... What is going on? That has put me in shambles today, honestly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to regroup. Since I couldn't get that, I'm gonna regroup. Find something else to eat, some other ice cream to get. That's actually open today. And then we're gonna see how that goes. So I'll just keep you updated. At this point, I really just wanna cry. I really feel, I feel hurt now. I feel like they played in my face, for real. I really just sat there and looked at that ice cream and it looked so good and then I pull up and nobody's opening the door. So, yeah. Y'all, so I looked it up online and it says they open at one, it's one seventeen. It's a man and his three beautiful children trying to get to haagen -Dazs. I'm not gonna put them on here, but they trying to get to haagen and they're sad as me. I really hate that for us. What are we gonna do now? He just tried to take his kids to get some ice cream and they wouldn't be closed. I guess whoever run the store ain't come open it because it's supposed to be open at one. And the reviews are so good, y'all. I'm not playing. I'm really sad about this right now. Like, this has probably been the worst thing of my whole entire day. This might be the worst thing of my whole week. They're driving away. Sad. I wonder where they're gonna get some ice cream from now because I need to go follow them. Hmm. Y'all, I just sat out here for five minutes and the, I just seen the owners come open the building. I'm sad for them kids how they didn't get the ice cream they wanted, but like, I'm gonna wait for like, I'm gonna let them set up in there. I'm gonna let them get their little situation together in there because they're already 10 minutes late. They already, they already late opening up their restaurant. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of time, but I'll be in there getting my ice cream because I ain't want to find nowhere else to go anyway. And the reviews are so good that I just, I don't know. But yeah, they opening stuff, turning the lights on right now. So I'm gonna let them run a little ice cream machine. And I'm gonna go up in there. And I'm recording everything. Cause why is y'all 20 minutes late? Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I am good. Oh, I don't know what to get yet. Okay, can I please have the Dolce de Leche one drizzler Sunday? Sunday? Yes, please. Okay. That That's has it. The banana and caramel in it. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. But the regular or small? small? Small. What kind of ice cream is for that? Dulce de leche. It's can, like a caramel. Can I get regular vanilla ice cream? Yeah, you want vanilla with vanilla yes. and caramel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And you want a small one? Yes, please. With pink on top? Yes. Y'all, that just, that just really made my day. They was nice in there. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, now I usually don't eat all this little stuff, but I'm finna get into it today. Mm. 
Baby! Y'all, it's busting. It's everything I wanted it to be. Y'all, this is really so good. I'm not even playing. This just made my day. It almost ruined my day, but this just made my day. This has bananas, whipped cream. Okay. Now, I'm going to go home. Clean my house. Watch TV. Take a nap. Y'all, why I go to the grocery store trying to call myself getting three things? I don't got all of this. All of this, I went to another grocery store. This is why I don't go nowhere for real. Like, every time I step out the house, I'm buying stuff, spending money, doing stuff. Like, I don't know what's going on. But I intended on making chicken alfredo, so that's why I even went to the grocery store. My bag had broke on my way up here. It was terrible. Everything was terrible. But I'm going to show y'all what I got. Because I just overdid it. Anyway, this is for the actual chicken alfredo. I got my chicken breast. Right Fettuccine alfredo. Fettuccine pasta. I got this Cajun seasoning. I got some more of my favorite seasoning in the world. Mm -hmm. I w originally went to Aldi, but they didn't have everything I wanted, so then I had to turn around. I went to Aldi basically for no reason because I bought all type of stuff that I didn't need. And I didn't even get what I needed for the Alfredo in Aldi. So I really went there for no reason and just spent all this money for no reason. But I digress. I got heavy whipping cream. Chicken broth. Coffee creamer. I got this coffee creamer because while I was at Aldi, I was buying stuff I didn't need. And I bought uh, this coffee for my Keurig. Which I guess I needed it because I need to use my Keurig. But anyway, from Aldi, I got this man bread. If you don't know what this is. I mean, you're, I feel like you're missing out. Honestly. I got cheese for my Alfredo. I got this probiotic drink because honestly, I seen this girl in there and she kept getting the same type of stuff I was getting. So, so I'm thinking like she must have like the same type of taste I have. So that's why I bought this. I don't know. I needed a little. I didn't need anything. I just saw this probiotic drink and I wanted to do it. It says 12 day belly reboot. I guess, you know, probiotics are good for your stomach and your digestive system. See that? Digestive health. Well, you can't see that. But it says digestive health made simple. So I'm going to drink this. I wonder how much you're supposed to drink. Four servings per container. Eight fluid ounces. Okay, cool. Then on to stuff that I absolutely did not have to buy. I bought this everything bagel goat cheese. Don't argue with me. Argue with your mama. This is good. Like, this is a different taste. This is an acquired taste. If you don't have a taste for this type of stuff, then this is not for you. I got three cucumbers because I'm going to make Greek salad. And I just stabbed my cucumber. I got this Parmesan cheese for my actual food I'm supposed to be making. I got feta cheese for my Greek salad. I got these tomatoes for my Greek salad. I got hummus for my nan bread and I got these olives. These olives have a little sauce on them. I really didn't need to get this either. But clearly I'm into buying stuff I don't need. Anyway, then I then I'm gonna try this Greek dressing that I found for my Greek salad. I'm gonna taste it first. If it don't taste how I want it to taste, I'm not using it. Anyway, next bag. Y'all, why was this? This broccoli was $1.50. This looks like some beautiful broccoli for $1.50. I don't know. I don't really know. I think so. Then I got some eggs because I don't know why I had eggs in so long. These eggs were $1.50 too, I think. I got my favorite hot sauce in the world. Yep. And I got some more olives. Um, This is for the Greek salad. So basically, I kind of bought stuff for the Greek salad and I bought stuff for the pasta and I bought stuff to eat with my bread. Really. Honestly. So yeah, that's everything I got. Um, now I'm about to start cooking dinner. 
And we're gonna see how this dinner goes. I'm gonna actually taste this juice. I don't know. It's pomegranate blackberry. All right, y'all, so I just took a little break. Uh, my pasta water is boiling. And I'm putting my ice. Cause I'm about to try this probiotic drink. I gotta have my circle ice and my square ice. This is the circle ice. Ice. And this is the square ice. It's really cold. It's already cold. Like, mm -mm. And then I'm just, every time I take the ice out, I just fill it back up. Cold, cold, cold. Little ice bucket comes with this little scoop. Take a scoop. Terrible guys, I'm scared. Can I shake it? Is it? Do you shake it first? Like I really want to be more healthy, but all this stuff is like new to me. I ain't never. I've had probiotic drinks before, but I ain't never buy no probiotic juice and just oh, try to drink it. All right, I'm gonna taste it like this. It looks cute. It looks like it's gonna be good. Because I just want my overall health to just be amazing. I want my skin health, stomach health, brain health. All right. Honestly, it just tastes like juice. It don't taste like, it don't taste like good juice. It just tastes like some juice you would give your child just because they want juice. It don't have a lot of sugar in it. But this is cool. I'm about to drink this while I cook dinner for the health of, of things. Interesting. So yeah. Not bad. Okay. It tastes like it's good for you, so I'm happy about this. I'm going to keep drinking this. My chicken is looking very tasty. My noodles back here waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I really hate to toot my own horn, but this is gonna be very tasty. I can already tell. Yeah, I put a little bit of broccoli in here, and when I say it's busting, like it's busting. Hey y'all, I'm back again. Mm. It is the next day. It's early. It's it's very early in the morning, and I'm going to Pilates. It is eight o'clock in the morning. Wait, is it? I think it's nine o'clock. It's nine or eight thirty or something. This is what I'm wearing to Pilates. Obviously, it's cold and it's raining outside, so I'm gonna put some clothes on top of this. But I decided this year to just wake up earlier, prioritize my health. Health is wealth. That's my little motto today. But yeah, um, I'm actually not very. I'm not mad about waking up early today. I feel like I'm in a positive mood. You know, I'm on my 13, I think I'm on a 15 day streak reading my Bible. So baby, we waking up early, we getting the job done. And I feel like the earlier I wake up, the more stuff I could do. I put my clothes in the washer. When I get back from Pilates, I'm gonna put them in the dryer. I feel like when I wake up early, I could just be more productive. Not, why? Well, I, I can't not feel like, I really can be more productive. So now I'm gonna eat some breakfast real quick. This morning, I'm going to drink my little nasty drink and also y'all yeah, i made this greek salad last night it looks a little crazy in here but when i say this it's busting it's busting like i'm not even trying to be funny i'm not even i'm not even being funny i have to mix it up just so it can get on either side it's cucumbers feta cheese olives a little bit of tomatoes sound like tomatoes it's more stuff in here but it's really good and i'm gonna eat this for lunch This is what you drink after. My mama told me you drink this protein after. And I'm gonna make a one scramble egg. I'm only making one scramble egg because I really don't like eggs for real. But it's like, I'm my fridge over. I'm gonna eat a few of these. This is a cranberry juice. Go look up. Go look up what this is good for. And this is 100% cranberry. This is not no sugar in it. And it's nasty. It is. But I think it's just good for me. I think my skin, my body just right and tight. 
I drank some probiotics last night. I'm feeling good, baby. I can conquer the whole world today. So let's do that, okay? Eat my raspberries. waking up early because like everybody else is asleep you don't gotta text nobody for real you gotta do nothing you don't gotta do nothing at all it's just so quiet i don't know where my phone at it just vibes so get up y'all need to get up before 12 11 all that get up before 10 too 10 is not bad but get up y'all can get up just for the little cranberry. I put like, oh, it's disgust. That much. If you dilute it with water, I'm, it's way more manageable. But like, I don't want to be drinking this for a long time, so let's do a little bit. And I didn't put a lot of water, so it's nasty. Let me see if I can crack this egg with one hand. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I gotta put the phone. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I can't do it. Yeah, it's gonna be all kinds of messed up. Oh my goodness, I cracked the yolk. I'm done with it. Look, 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 look. All right, y'all, I made it to the parking lot. I have to run out. It's 9.40. It's 9.40, the Pilates starts at 9.45, but it's like a little walk. I have to come out of here and go, oh, I have to come out of here and go, like, I have to come out of here and walk to the Pilates. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be like a couple minutes early, which is great. I drank a little bit of this little pre-workout stuff. I don't really know. I'm going to drink a little more. But Pilates be hurting bad, so I'm going to do whatever I can do to make this a little more manageable. Who's this man? Mm-mm. What is going on? Make sure I got my... Not plant. Oh, he's harmless, guys. But you never know. Oh, I have to leave my camera in here too. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take my camera with me. But yeah, switch it to the phone. See y'all later. y'all so pilates was actually really great today well it's always really great but today it was just really really great so i think i got a few clips for y'all i can show y'all i be in there you know i can't like record everything you know it's like a class type of thing i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog i hope you were encouraged to do something work out get up early just take extra care of yourself so i hope that throughout this vlog y'all just find encouragement to do something for yourself either go grocery shopping get some healthy food go work out spend time with your family anything that you could do just take care of yourself a little bit extra and if you're new here make sure you like this video comment on this video let's get some conversations going so yeah make sure y'all subscribe as well don't forget to subscribe we finna be at 10,000 subscribers before they even know it baby they gonna blink 10,000 that's how it's gonna be I can feel it so yeah I hope y'all have a great day I hope y'all have a positive attitude today and I will see y'all next time